Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. In the presence of the chairman of the Rashid Equestrian Horse Racing Club High Committee, Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Rashid Equestrian Horse Racing Club organized the 11th horse racing meeting of the season on the club's racetrack. It was held for the Cubs of the late Abdullah Ahmed Nas, Nas Corporation, Gulf City Cleaning, Applied Sciences University, and Blue Dan Veterinary Supplies. Also present were their highnesses, representatives of sponsoring companies and horse racing fans. The race comprised of eight events where trophies were presented to the winners.
Community services is one of the five policy pillars of the government's action plan for the next four years, which aspires to offer competitive and quality government services for the people of Bahrain. This pivotal pillar comprises of three priorities, namely security, stability and fairness, and aims at spurring growth across all fields in translation to the visions and aspirations of His Majesty the King. The government's action plan 2023 to 2026 includes projects that boost comprehensive development and improve the quality of services offered to the people of Bahrain by providing them sustainably, competitively and fairly. The community services pillar is one of the five policy pillars which encompasses the education, housing, health, sports and social services dossiers. Improving the performance of education and training and encouraging scientific research are top priorities to the community services pillar, which also focuses on matching learning and training outcomes to the requirements of the labor market. The services pillar also underlines finding innovative housing solutions, increasing and diversifying housing services and developing housing policies to ensure the sustainability of services. A key component to the community services policy pillar is the health dossier, which emphasizes the provision of quality and efficient health services and sustaining highly competitive health care, as well as enhancing the quality of life by developing policies and initiatives in the field of public health, improving the performance of health institutions and carrying on the implementation of the health insurance project. Supporting the sports sector is yet another dimension of the community services pillar, which focuses on developing policies to enable clubs and youth centers to play their role in empowering the youth and enhancing their participation in development, while promoting a culture of creativity and innovation. And with regard to developing social services and enhancing their sustainability, the Community Services Pillar seeks to raise the efficiency of social support programs and directing them to those who deserve them in a way that meets the basic needs of citizens and ensure a decent life for all. In addition to providing social services for children, families, the elderly and people with determination, not to mention promoting the concepts of community partnership and volunteer work in order to achieve further progress and development. The Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa today paid a visit to the Bahraini Farmers Market at Budaya Botanical Garden. The Deputy Prime Minister directed the Ministry of Municipalities Affairs and Agriculture to offer new lands for agricultural investment and make them available soon through the Government Land Investment Platform. He said that the move is within the framework of continuous efforts to ensure sustainable food security and achieve the goals of the Comprehensive Development March led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The Deputy Premier affirmed his keenness of the government led the by His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to boost partnerships with the private sector to invigorate the investment movement and increase the local agricultural production. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa praised the Bahrain Farmers Market Initiative which has reached its 10th year, stressing its success in highlighting the local agricultural products and supporting Bahraini farmers. He also noted the role of the market as a weekly meeting place for Bahraini families. He met the participating farmers and representatives of the the agricultural companies praising their keenness on preserving the agricultural work as a characteristic feature of the Bahraini identity. He also commended the act of partnership with the Ministry of Municipalities Affairs and Agriculture, which attracted thousands of visitors from Bahrain and beyond. The Deputy Prime Minister asserted the government's continuous support to Bahraini farmers to help them overcome the challenges meeting them. The Minister of Municipalities Affairs and Agriculture expresses utmost thanks and gratitude to the Deputy Premier for the visit and the government's unlimited support to the agricultural sector. And the implementation of the directives of the Deputy Prime Minister, the Minister of Municipalities Affairs and Agriculture announced for continuing to establish the market during the evening period in the month of Ramadan, expanding the market area to accommodate a large number of participants in its 11th season in 2023. The Bahraini Farmers Market is being held this year under the slogan Our Harvest is Bahraini with the participation of 31 farmers, 4 agricultural companies, 5 nurseries, 4 apiaries, 4 activities specialized in dates and 20 productive families in coordination with the Ministry of Social Development. This season, the organizing committee of the market created a special corner for children. The Ministry of Tourism also participated in a special corner that hosts various activities including the organization of popular events on the occasion of the Kingdom of Bahrain celebration of his glorious national days.
The Information and E-Government Authority, the IGA, joined GCC Statistical Center and other GCC government statistics organizations in celebrating the GCC Statistics Day, which falls on the 24th of December every year. This year's theme is Statistics for Sustainable Opportunities. The IGA Acting Chief Executive and Deputy CE of Electronic Transformation, Dr. Zakari al Khaja, highlighted the importance of statistics fields across the kingdom and the GCC and their studies and surveys in improving the reliability and sustainability of Gulf databases and indices and also reflected the performance of different sectors more accurately. Dr. al Khaja has highlighted the close cooperation with Saudi Arabia's General Authority for Statistics, the GASTAT, and particularly when it comes to producing official statistics from administrative records and uh, the GASTAT's unique experience in carrying out these types of surveys. The member states of the Gulf Cooperation Council, the GCC, celebrate today the GCC Statistics Day under the theme Statistics for Sustainable Opportunities. The event comes within the frameworks of enhancing the statistical work, aiming to provide statistical data that supports development plans and achieves the goals of the development visions of the GCC member countries. The GCC Statistics Day is an important occasion in which the statistical bodies and certain or centers of and offices of the GCC countries renew their interest in statistical work and confirm its vital role in setting plans and programs for comprehensive sustainable development. The decision to mark December 24th as the Gulf Statistics Day was taken by the GCC Ministerial Council on its 141st session held in Bahrain on November 24, 2016. The celebration aims at emphasizing the importance of statistics in planning and valuing the efforts of those working in the statistical field. In addition, it would strengthen the partnership between the GCC countries to improve and develop the statistical environment in a way that enhances the GCC joint works. The chairman of the Union of Arab Chambers, chairman of the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Samir Nas, has underlined the importance of unifying the economic stances and priorities of Arab states to reinforce the economic competitiveness of the region and meet the requirements of comprehensive development. This came as he met the Lebanese Prime Minister Najib Miqati in the presence of representatives of Arab federations. Nas affirmed the keenness of the you know, Union of Arab Chambers on promoting commercial cooperation and coordination among all member states in line with the national foreign policies of the countries and by means that meet the common goals. He said that under the leadership of His Majesty the King, Bahrain became a pioneer in promoting peace and stability regionally and internationally and stressed on Bahrain's role in supporting joint Arab action and promoting economic integration. The 33rd edition of the Autumn Fair continued today under the patronage of the Minister of Tourism, Fatma bin Jafar al -Sayrafi. The return of the Autumn Fair, which herds a remarkable recovery of the exhibition industry, Bahrain will benefit the commercial and tourism sectors in line with the objectives of the Tourism Strategy 2022-2026 within the Economic Recovery Plan. The efforts made by the organizers to attract exhibitors from many countries stress the importance of such mega events in supporting the tourism sector. This year's edition has attracted 650 exhibitors from 14 countries, the Kingdom of Bahrain, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates, the State of Kuwait, and Sultan of Oman, the Arab Republic of Egypt, the Republic of Yemen, the State of Palestine, the Republic of Sudan, the Republic of India, and the Islamic Republic of Pakistan, the Republic of Turkey, the Kingdom of Thailand, and the Republic of Bangladesh. As part of the fest Bahrain festive season, the activities of the Heritage Village organized by the Ministry of Information Affairs and Ras Hayyan concludes today. Due to the large public turnout for the festival, the Ministry extended the festival until today. The festival includes many artistic and entertainment activities and events as well as traditional markets, which reflects an important aspect of the authentic Bahraini identity.